Welcome back to One Comic A Day as we're covering the second story in Superman 76, The Misfit Manhunter. After two pretty entertaining stories, this is a massive letdown as it's more or less a very disposable Superman story. What's intriguing to me about this is this story is written by Bill Finger, co-creator of Batman. And in an issue of Superman where they have Batman meet Superman, they didn't have Bill Finger write that story. They had him write this story. I'd love to hear the behind the scenes of why that happened. Was it that Bill came up with this story or was it other reasons like Bob Kane not wanting Bill to write a Batman story that would have had Bill's name on it. Usually the editors chose who was writing what story or what the idea of each story. So I feel like Mort Weisinger possibly was responsible for the idea of Superman and Batman, but that's spending way too much time on yesterday's story. We've already covered it. So this story revolves around Superman helping a man by the name of Joe Harris. Joe Harris wants to be part of the FBI. He keeps referring to it as a G-man. You know, a G-man, that's a term for an FBI agent. But he fails because he's bad at most of the physical things. He's claustrophobic, he is colorblind, and he's afraid of heights, so he can do the one obstacle course. Though when the obstacle course starts to collapse on him, Superman is around, while Clark is around to become Superman, bright blue costume, red cape, and puts a rock in front of the structure to keep it from collapsing, but loses his ID card in the mix, so he's a little worried about Joe Harris. But that's not really the big part of the story. Joe keeps trying to get jobs helped by Superman, but each job has him confront one of those things I mentioned from him being a night operator of a telephone line that uh, he can't actually do because he's colorblind, to him working as a store detective, and bank security, which all have one of the three things he has issues with. So he's in fact confronting it, and I can't fault the story on that sort of structure and character arc of having the character deal with uh, his problems, but in none of them does he actually overcome them. You can't really overcome being colorblind. There is, other than labeling the telephone operator stuff, he's not going to be able to, you know, just power through it. Every job th the three same criminals commit a crime against, and Superman helps him defeat them by mainly making it seem like he was the one who did them. But he quits the job, admitting to himself that he can't do it. As he's completely distraught, him and Superman have a conversation where Superman finds out that he's really good at remembering facts to a great degree, that he, he could get a desk job at the FBI and passes that test. So he won't be a field agent, but he'll still be working for the FBI. Though, I feel like this ending showing how smart and uh, how he can remember all this information is completely hampered by the joke of an ending they go with. He reveals that he found the identification card, but it's actually an FBI agent's identification card. So he tells Superman he'll keep his secret, even though he doesn't know the secret. So is he as smart as he was supposedly presented as? No. So yeah, it's, it's a story that there isn't really a lot to. Even the Superman story had something to kind of say about Batman and Superman, or it was at least a little chaotic fun. Here, it's mainly Superman trying to help one helpless guy, which is a nice little story. I just never kind of grew to care about him, nor did I think any of the actions that took place in any way helped him grow as a person. There was an attempt, but Superman is way too much in the way. Okay, that is it from Superman 76, The Misfit Manhunter. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when the new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Fridays is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the Man of Tomorrow? Also, what happened with all these identification cards? Why are they all getting lost on this FBI obstacle course? Someone needs to look into this. Okay, have a great day.